This is Shamim Khan from IPU TV. It's an absolute honor and a deep privilege for me to welcome you here, Honorable Head of Delegation Salma Ataullah Jan from Canada. A very warm welcome indeed. Empowerment in case of Parliament, like in terms of numbers or the skill or the potential or the capacity? Well, it seems most parliaments, um, I think except for you know a few countries like Rwanda and there's a few other um, uh, countries, we seem to be stuck at the 30% or below the 30%. So we, we need to have more women involved in politics, but it's easy to say that it's harder for women. Um, I don't know if you're aware of a report that we did on uh, the sexual harassment or the harassment that women MPs uh, face that women parliamentarians face. We um, discussed the results at our meeting last October in um, Geneva, and it uh, generated a great deal of interest because a lot of the female MPs spoke about um, the threats of rape and violence and, and physical abuse. And it was, it was and I, th I think the numbers are actually higher because when we'd interact and we'd ask the, they'd ask the questions, a lot of the MPs would say, well, it has happened through somebody else. It, it didn't happen to me. So um, I, I feel that the numbers w would be higher. There is always a taboo, even in the parliament, like as far as women are concerned. Like, you know, they say this happened to somebody else. Sometimes they can't even speak about it. Because, you know, unfortunately, in developing worlds, when, yes. when you talk about sexual harassment and when you talk about sexual abuse, um, it's the woman is it's the woman who pays the ultimate Absolutely. price right because there's that um, the men or and of society as a whole will say she must have done something, something to deserve to yes and and i know of one um, female member of parliament uh, who told me that uh, because she had come you know how they have the quota for women mm -hmm. uh, she was on one of those seats and she said every time she gets up to speak uh, the male members around tell her, sit down, sit down, you can't speak because, you know, yes. Oh so we, we've come a long way, but we have a long way to go. Could you come up with certain resolutions, like eventually when you discuss it in the parliament, because it's happening to the, you know, parliamentarians, the women parliamentarians who represent the voice of the people and they are being attacked. I, I don't know if we can come up with a resolution at the fact that we're having this conversation. I think I, I think that's the first step in the right direction, and we just have to encourage. Uh, and you know what? I mean, the women they come out, they tell their stories, and I think that's the first step. That uh, the fact that they're willing to discuss it, and um, we have to involve the men in the struggle too. We need uh, strong men who are not afraid to have, you know, strong, capable women along walk alongside them. Dialogue is always a way forward. It is, and 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 supporting each other, and realizing that uh, you know, it's um, to be in this together. I mean, the woman supports you; you support the woman, and you know you're there doing the similar work. The woman is it's it's not as though she's not g giving her share. Most times, the woman is giving more than her share. Yeah. The the female parliamentarians, I see that every time I'm at an assembly.